Good morning, dear teachers. Let me introduce myself. I am Vahid Vasitora Hurmatulaevna, an English teacher. Today is our seventh session on subject methodology and we will work on teaching writing. By the end of the session, you will be able to define what makes a good writing task and have experienced a good writing task. In the introduction part of our lesson, I got some questions for you. Please answer them. What do people write in real life? Yes, you're right. People write letters, emails, shopping lists, diaries, notes, lectures, lesson plans, poems, novels, articles, essays, and etc. So, what is the main aim of writing? Yes, of course, the main aim of writing is communication. People write to each other in order to communicate. And what kind of writing task you give to your learners? What problems do your learners face in writing? It can be lack of vocabulary, lack of ideas, learners are not interested, or mistakes in grammar. So, dear teachers, a good writing task should have pre, while, and post writing stages. So, what does pre writing task? Listen, pre-writing tasks prepare for writing a rules learner's interest. It means when teacher prepares pupils' attention to new theme and concentrates their attention to this new activity, this stage we call pre-writing task. And what about while writing tasks? While writing tasks, draw on writing itself, help to communicate a message. It means it is a part when pupils write something. And now let's talk about post-writing tasks. Post-writing tasks encourage learners to relate writing to their own life experience gives opportunities to express own ideas, views and do something with the information they have got. Moreover, a good writing task should have communicative purpose, be relevant and interesting to learners. Now, let's refresh today's theme. Please fill the gap. Let's check. A good writing task should have pre, while and post stages. And a good writing task should have communicative purpose, relevant and interesting to learners. Dear teachers, let's talk about instructions, especially instructions in giving writing tasks. So, I got some questions for you. What makes instructions clear and what are the characteristics of good instructions for essays? Here are the five main criteria which helps you to make clear instructions in writing tasks. So listen, first one, topic or theme. In order to give clear instruction, it's important to say the theme of the topic. The second one is time limit. You should tell how much time do they need, 20 minutes or 30 minutes. 
The third one is word limit. You should tell how many words should be in their topics. It's important. The fourth one is audience. We need to tell about the audience while they are writing a letter to someone. And the last one is the purpose. It's also important and we will learn this part in details later. Let's make some activities together. This is the first story and simply describe the picture. You have one minute. This is the second story and now you should write your own opinion. What do you think? Did you like this picture? If yes, you should write why. If no, you should write why not. You have one minute. And now you're again school teachers. Let's make feedback of two previous stories. I mean first and second pictures which you wrote about. So what are the differences between these stories which you wrote? Right, in the first one you just Describe the picture. In the second one, you told your own opinion. The second question, which do you usually ask your students to do? To describe something or to describe something and present their own opinion? Which do you think is more difficult? When we give a writing task, we should also tell students what the purpose of the essay, whether students need to describe something or to present an argument. It is important to balance descriptive tasks and argumentative tasks because they both aim at developing different skills. Establish that an argumentative essay is one that can present an argument, discuss advantages and disadvantages, take up a position either for or against, whereas a descriptive essay is one that describes an object, an event, or provides a character description. If you only ask students to describe, we do not teach them to think and express their own opinions. Giving students arguments of essays to write can also help the teacher to avoid the problem of plagiarism because students will be writing about their own ideas and will not so easily be able to copy from other source, for example, the internet. In conclusion, a writing task should have clear instruction including purpose, audience, timing and number of words. And instructions should clearly state the purpose of an essay, whether it should be simply describe something or present an argument. This is the purpose of writing. The lesson is over. Thank you for your attention. See you next lesson. Bye.